name is Brandy Davison. I'm a design team member with um, Scrap Storian. This Scrap Storian is a blog, a YouTube, uh, what else do we have? Instagram, <laughs> uh, Facebook, where it's just a group of us friends. There's two friends, we're all good friends, two sisters, two friends <laughs> that have all come together and the four of us together um, post uh, across our social media channels as a way to kind of share the load of keeping up any social media or any kind of brand, um, but also, um, you know, to have that kind of camaraderie between each other and, and all kind of challenge each other. So it's been really fun. And I just wanted to pop on today just to walk you through the Creative Memories Daydreamer collection. Um, we have been longtime fans of Creative Memories. I myself only use their albums and their page protectors and most of my tools are Creative Memories. I don't know what I would do without the circle cutting system. Um, and we've also have a good friend of ours is um, a Creative Memories consultant that has just been near and dear to Scrap Story and for Oh, well over a decade now and so I constantly pop back on to Creative Memories and see what they've got as a way to support her beyond just the albums that I buy and I generally struggle with the paper lines of Creative Memories. It's super cute, um, often very themed, um, very focused on either children or just things that don't suit my style. They do very well, well. they're gorgeous, don't get me wrong, it just doesn't suit my style and so when I popped on not too long ago and I saw this Daydreamer collection I was absolutely blown away. This looks so different than what I would say Creative Memories looks like to me in my mind. All my opinions here, they are a great company. Um, and so I thought, I gotta get this. I just immediately added it to my cart. And so I thought I would take the time to walk you through it because I know Creative Memories kind of went off the market for a while and came back on and I'm not sure, everyone sort of caught back up again. I think most of us started with the Creative Memories party, um, but they're back and they're just really doing things a little bit differently and I'm just so, so, so impressed. They didn't change the albums, thank goodness, because they're the best already. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd walk you through this. So I ordered the die cuts, I ordered the stickers, the paper, and then I also ordered this variety matte pack. And this might be called like journaling cards, but they call it the matte pack because it is so perfect for matting photos or if you are into pocket scrapbooking this is good too and I just cut this this the cover off because I wanted to pull this open before we started because it's plastic and it's a little bit loud so you get 12 four and a half by six and a half and 12 four by six patterns so this is gives you a good idea of what this collection looks like so most of these I think are the same oh sorry the same but they are turned so that is just great depending on um which uh orientation you're going with joy noun gladness not based on circumstance I love that joy is in fact my one little word this year so that makes me happy yeah I love that that they're the same with a different orientation that is absolutely fabulous and so as you can see these are really great for um, journaling these would be really great to mat a photo there's an opportunity here to fussy cut a little bit if you needed to oh love those rainbows rainbows are so the thing right now I could have like 20 of these in every color in my kit and I'd be happy. Love that. Good. That's just a piece of cardstock there. Or cardboard. Love that. If you probably can't see this, goes from pink through into green with splatters. Oh, and that could even be cut apart. Love that. They are actually rainbow shapes, but in lighter green on dark green. Little spooches or whatever. Do, do, do. Oh, fun. That's very kind of travelly to me. Again, still with that rainbow kind of structure to it. Neat. That's upside down. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Looks like paint marks. Mm -hmm. And then a couple more here. Oh, a few more here. Wow, there's a lot in here. Love the stars. That same kind of paint mark. And then those guys. Yeah, so that is the Daydreamer Variety Matte Pack. Gorgeous. Okay. The other thing I also got in here, I got was the designer stickers. This is a three piece pack and they are, they are a true sticker, but they're not shiny, if that makes sense. They're a matte um, and they're thicker, but they're not a chipboard. So they just seem like really good quality. So good flowers that again, that rainbow, love the tabs, oversized tabs, always good. But some other pieces here. And this, I, this is all about just like being you and just finding joy love the phrase stickers and then classic creative memories right they've always got the borders and I noticed that a lot of their page designs and templates have like borders on them I generally cut use these as um, more of a washi tape than a border but that's the stickers I'll show you the paper next and this is where I was really just surprised at the difference 
compared to some other things I've seen from them. So very, very cool. So this is 12 sheets of 12 by 12, okay? So it is a thinner paper from Creative Memories, I do find. Um, so I'm not sure I would mix media on these, but I don't think if you were to layer up and use them in a, in a, in a layout that it would make any impact. So this one is the one that really caught my eye. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? So there's two sheets of that guy there. Okay. There is two sheets, again, a little bit thinner. Not like Michael's thinner, but a little bit thinner. Fun to fussy cut. Love, love, love this side. Love it. Got some stars. So that's yellow on yellow. And then the back is really muted. These are flower shapes if that comes through. In a, and even the gray in the background is sort of a crosshatch grayish color. So very neat. Can't go wrong with some hearts paper now, can you? These are hearts, painted hearts. Sorry, I keep getting more papers. And they're not perfect. You like They actually look like they're painted on. And they're not in a true black. They're in an off black, which is quite nice. And then look at that beauty. The little rainbows. Very, very cool. Love that. Love that they're not perfect. Love that they're different sizes. Very fun. This one is great too. This is back to that. They're actually like rainbow shapes with pink on pink. And there's a little bit, which might not come through, white splattering it looks like. And then this is the back. So a bit of pink on pink splattering and then these little florals. Love it. And then last but not least, I absolutely love this one. This is such a great color. Um, this just is a really messy and you can see that there's, um, it's like a pink on pink or burgundy, I guess this color would be. But there's also splatters in there if you can see. And then this very bright floral pattern, which though would look really good as a matting, right? just a little bit peeking through I love it so very fun but this side I think is you know the one I know me know yourself better right the one I'm gonna use so that's the paper product and the stickers and then I also got the die cuts or the embellishments they're calling them but they're really like a chipboard die cut a chipboard die cut yeah and I'll just go through these for you so rainbows lots of the bits of flowers I'll make sure those are upright lots to layer shooting star some circles more hearts i haven't actually looked through these so this is really fun oh look at the little birds that's cute not sure how i would use those but challenge accepted um some sayings in here oh that's great i didn't realize that either live your best life that's really neat i really struggle with this style i will probably cut those apart and use them as phrases but um, for other people they look really good so it's interesting how we all have our style that is adorable. Oh my goodness, the heart growing. Love that one. Again, some more flowers. Love it. No pun intended. <clears throat> and again, these are not quite chipboard, but they're not paper die cuts either. They're somewhere right in between, which is great. And there is a bit of shimmer on that one, which is quite interesting. So I haven't seen shimmer yet. Oh, there is shimmer on a few of them. Look at that. That's like a speckled shimmer on there on these. Are those lotus flowers? I'm not sure. So same with, it looks like a silver emboss. Love it. That shine hopefully is showing through a little bit. That one is fabulous. Ignore my horribly painted nails, please. <laughs> they're in bad shape. It's winter because they're so dry. So I try and hide them with some dark nail polish. Some more circles, a heart geotag, because every collection should have a heart geotag, in my opinion. Love. Ah, oh, so cute. And I don't know if you see what I mean, but it just seems so different. Little cameras. Wait, there's a tag on there. I don't know how this really goes. How does a camera go? Maybe like that? <laughs> it's got the cord on it that kind of messed me up <laughs> anyway it looks super cute and then smile so as you can see and these just come in the cutest little box ever seriously love that um yes <laughs> my childhood collection of little things is coming back to me um so that is that and so as you can see it's quite different i'm really excited to play with it um i hope that creative members continues to get into this sort of stuff keep doing all the great things that they do with their themes that's wonderful but something like this in the muted tones that's really aligning with the what of the scrapbook community is doing around the muted tones cameras geotags rainbows like really starting to participate in almost like what is everyone else doing at creativation and then what is their style of, of that kind of current state and what is trending today. So I'm just really, really excited about that um, and can't wait to show you what I make. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.